think just about everybody has heard that this button right here is a jellyfish launcher. So today, we're going to turn it into an actual functioning jellyfish launcher. So when you hit this button, it shoots a jellyfish out the back at Mount Jesus. So we're going to come around here, and you can see we already got this set up. It's basically just an air can. It got some 4-inch Schedule 40 pipe all glued together. And yeah, my glue job looks like trash, but that's what it's going to look like. It ain't got to be pretty. Right there, we have an electric solenoid. As soon as you hit the switch in there, it releases the air pressure that's in here out that two inch pipe. And as you can see, it does actually work. I hit the button a minute ago and didn't think there was much pressure in there and launched a jellyfish into the shop building. But the jellyfish did survive and it is right here. We got these pretty cool looking jellyfish. They look friendly. They do, do you know, that's what they do. So when they hit, at least I'll know where they hit. So we're gonna try to shoot one of these like a quarter mile. First thing I gotta do is put some more air in there and load some jellyfish up. Jellyfish is they don't have enough mass to really fly very far. But if you put a Coke can in there, you could probably shoot it about a quarter mile. And if anyone wants to know how to build one of these, I can basically give you a parts list or do a video on how to. But I'm gonna put this jellyfish in this bag right here. Well, I guess it's bubble wrap, but we're gonna put it in there and jam it down the barrel here. Jellyfish shoved down in there. I use this little ramrod stick. I poured some water in there so maybe it'll have a little bit more mass and we can get it to shoot harder and further. We're trying to shoot one of these like a quarter mile. A jellyfish at launch. That one didn't go near as far as they normally do. We were only at about 60 PSI in there. I'll let it charge up, put her up at 100 and see how far we can shoot one. I think we made it over the trees and oh yeah the smart car is still on jack stands hopefully have some american forces sometime soon for it where'd he go oh there it is it probably went 100 yards that's about it and they hold up very well considering they're being shot at like 60 psi and probably 45 miles now. There's jellyfish in there, so we're gonna get two of them a launch. I didn't put a bag in there this time, and I jammed them down. Then they're really tight, so maybe they'll hold on. I also got these jellyfish, but these are kind of a disappointment. I guess they're for a fish tank or something. Fly to there so fast I can't see them this time. That's what 100 psi does to one of these things. It blows the sponge that's in their head about straight out of it, and it also blows holes in them and their tentacles off. I'm not too sure if 100 PSI is good on these things. I'd think they'd be more durable, but it is an Amazon special, and they're only like nine bucks for three of them. So we're gonna start shooting some other things out of it. And Let's see what happens. We'll throw a GoPro in there and see what happens. Hopefully I'm able to find it. Is it recording? Yep. Drop her down in there. Now let's see what happens. Hopefully we can find the GoPro after well, this. Since the first GoPro I went in there, I lost. We're going to do it again. So you better like this video because we've already lost one GoPro. Hopefully we won't lose this one. I got some tape on it, so maybe I won't lose it. So I'll load that down in there. That's ready to go. Hit the jellyfish launcher button and see where it goes. Oh, Lord. I heard it hit, so I mean... Maybe I didn't I lose it this the time. camera. I don't know if the footage on it's any good because it came out of there at like Mach 3. But we're going to start shooting some jellyfish for distance now and see what we get. The jellyfish launcher 6000 also doubles as a foam cannon. You just have to put the 2 inch barrel on there and you have to get you some of this Dawn dishwashing liquid. You get you some whatever this is. You take a bunch of them, open her up, and I do have measuring cups, I just don't measure. Pour you a bunch of that in there. Spill that all on the truck bed. There we go. Take you a very generous amount of your Dawn dishwashing liquid. Once you have that in there, and also you have to spill some on the floor and waste it, you want to mix that together with a broken broom handle. Once you 
once you have all that mixed together, go back here, grab you about a gallon of water, pour it down in there. This works a lot better than the ones that go on a garden hose because here you're using about 120 PSI of pressure and it makes really good foam suds. Now it is kind of hard to hit the vehicle with this. I mean, we're gonna be washing the old smart car off over there, but you can miss it quite easily. So it does take a couple tries and the soap does get expensive because you do not hit it every time. But at least it does a lot better and it's cool. You gotta agitate that real good. Once, you, once you've spilt most of it out on the ground, you're good to go. You just gotta back the truck up over there, kinda line it up and then shoot it. Once you have it all mixed up and all the soap and stuff in there, you back up to the said vehicle you wanna wash off. You make sure you're aligned and you're about the proper distance for the trajectory of the water to hit the vehicle because sometimes you do miss it and waste all your soap and all your water. Then you come on in here and you hit the jellyfish button right there and you wash your car off. And just like that, it gets covered in a shower of foam. Now you do waste about 90% of the soap and water, but you can shoot it again with the residue that's left in there and it, it's pretty soapy. Put some more water in there because you miss it with 90% of it. Then you hit the button again and you're covering some more foam. It takes about five or 10 shots and about two gallons of car wash and about three gallons of Dawn dishwashing liquid to get a vehicle perfectly covered in foam. But after you shoot it a few times, you do get the hang of it. It is not very efficient, but it works pretty good. And at least you look cool doing it. What about the jellyfish launchers? Just about anything you can shove in the barrel, it will shoot. We have the sad excuse of, for jellyfish here that we got off Amazon. We're just gonna shove them down in there and see how far they'll go. And they probably won't do too well or just obliterate them, I don't know. We're... We get a doubt they'll go very far, but it's worth a shot. Oh, they fly pretty good. And just about every one of them hit the smart car. What's left of the baseball bat hammer I broke the other day. You'll know what I mean if you watch my TikToks. Let's load this thing in there and see how far we can get this. It's kind of like a blunder bust, because anything that fits in there, you can shoot out of there. Let's give it a shot. Push the old jellyfish launcher button. Now, I'd have to say if that hits you, it's pretty legal. It should slide down in there pretty easy, and we're gonna see if we can shoot it good ways. And it's down in there, and now we're gonna go hit makes a good projectile. Launch too good the first time, so I'm gonna take this rag and stuff it down in there so we get a little bit more pressure on that, and hopefully, we can shoot it past the tree this time at least. We made it past the trees at least. Old Tannerite container is just about three inches in diameter, so it fits perfectly in that piece of pipe. So, we're gonna launch this thing probably all the way across the field this time because it don't have much space for air to get around it. So, let's throw this thing in there. Got to get the handy dandy broken broom handle. Shove it down in there and we're ready to go. The bad thing about the jellyfish launcher is I haven't figured out yet on the cab light when you hit this button it triggers the relay so you have to turn the key back on and off for it to actually shoot but we'll let this thing fly across the field now. Oh lord, we took a tree limb off. It's gone. So Tannerite containers work perfectly for jellyfish launchers with a three inch barrel. They work even better than the jellyfish do. The last thing we shoot out of the old jellyfish launcher cannon. So if you've watched this far in the video, thank you. And if you would consider liking this video and maybe subscribe. And the more subscribers and views we get, the better content we can put out. So load this up in there and this will end the video as it flies out of the cannon. Let's turn the key on and hit the old button and see how far she flies. It didn't do too good, it got a little wobbly.